Life Club is super fun. It's really like active and meaningful at the same time. Like there's activities, like one time we had to throw a bunch of fireballs in our mouth and it was really gross. And then like the talks are really good. I, I thought at first, you know, we'd be sitting in a room just kind of like reading a Bible. And I was like, that's not for me. Well, finally, one of my friends got me to come. He picked me up and brought me. And I found out that I was totally wrong, that we're actually in this room and we're playing games and basketball and dodgeball and all sorts of things. And so I went and without really having too much young life experience, and I kind of like fell in love with it um, because I went to a lot of camps up in Iowa and I needed something like that, you know, to just kind of fill the void. And Young Life was that and uh, just everything. I liked it. I kept going to all the clubs after that. I became really consistent with going to clubs. I was able to get my brother to go, so. I think people keep coming back is because they realize that here they can be themselves and they can have fun with other people and they won't have to worry about what other people think. Um, what's so special about the messages at Young Life is because they're like real. It's not messages that you just read or that you just hear people talking about. They're the person that's saying the message is standing there right in front of you. And as you go in your faith, because it kind of keeps you on track with the Bible, because your leaders can give you readings and stuff every week, so that you can come back and follow up and talk about it. I like how they put a message in with what their story is, and it just it makes stuff more relatable. Before this, I'd, I mean, I would go to church on Sundays, but I wouldn't really connect with the pastor. And as an adolescent, um, I would feel like we weren't really addressed uh, the way everyone else in that room was. And coming to Young Life really helped me uh, find scripture that um, was necessary for what I was going through and uh, was able to help me really understand what I was reading and uh, connect with the scripture I was reading. We've been doing a study about Peter and we've been looking about things that he's done and one of the things that really stuck out to me that I can relate to is that he's denied Jesus three times but Jesus always came back and forgave him for it because like there's been a couple times where I just was like God I'm I kind of lost you I'm not there I'm done with you for a little bit but then Jesus comes back and forgives Peter and I know he'll come back and forgive me and want me to come back and follow him again I think Young Life messages at clubs and campaigners are impactful because they relate to their, the kids' everyday lives and how instances in the Bible can really connect to what they do on a you know, day to day. You know, you don't have to be Christian to be here. It's just trying to like make you understand what God does for you, uh, why Jesus died for you. Um, and it's just an awesome experience for anyone. It's not just for people just in a certain friend group. It really opened my eyes to see that it's not just about reading the book. It's about how you live and applying what you read from the book and applying it to your life and how if you do that, then you can see the world in a totally different view. talking about Young Life Camp, you've never been before, everyone's like, it's going to be the best week of your life, it's the best week of your life, so that's like a big expectation we live up to. This camp really like exceeded my expectations, and that whole week, you feel like you can talk to anyone. They're posting stuff on social media, you know, that, you know, the best week of my life, or they'll do a throwback Thursday that says, has a picture of camp and says, best week of my life. Um, it was one of the last nights, it's called Stand Up and Say So, and it's where you um, have a heart and you put your name on it and you pin it on the cross and that's when I really believe that was my aha moment. The biggest thing I've taken away from Young Life is just seeing the, my kids, how much they've opened up more to Christ, how much they're more involved. It's really, really opened my eyes to see that if you treat people like you want to be treated, then they're going to respect you and they're going to love you back. And I think that was the big thing that I got from reading the book and from reading all of the stuff that goes on here in Young Life. When trouble comes, and it's guaranteed to, uh, and sin in our life sometimes overcomes us, and uh, times get tough, um, 
We don't always have to turn to other things in life that many people do. And we can turn to Jesus because he's always going to be there. And uh, Young Life has really taught me that. Um, seeking Jesus, and especially in the most tough situations, um, is better than anything in the world you could look for. Yeah, I'd say probably the thing I take away most is being more confident with my faith. Like if anybody asked me, I could say, yeah, I'm definitely a Christ follower.